Message from the Master Christos, Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda Message to the World Fear. The 27th of July, 2022. Sananda, I am the one you called Jesus Emmanuel. My Creator calls me Sananda. I am the one whom you await. I am that I am, I am Sananda. My loving greetings to all souls and especially to my dear flock. I wish to tell all of you souls again about one of the most deadly sin of humans. There are several of these that are lurking in the shadows ready to cause you to forget how great you are in the lighted realms. As I have said before, many ones are married to a partner that is not on the same page spiritually, and living with that one is a trial to keep focused, balanced, centered and calm, amid the hurricane swirling about you with mental and verbal abuse thrown at you and sometimes physical abuse. I want to quote a passage from Journal 27 concerning on one of these deadly sins. By deadly, I mean those that would keep you from being the strong, wonderful, spiritual being you are. Quote. Fear. We have also spoken of the deadly sin of feeling unnatural and excessive fear in the previous pages under, How to Recognize the Antichrist Within. We discussed that the Antichrist traps you in the illusion of what is future fear or intershion. Let us define fear. 1. An agitated feeling aroused by awareness of danger, trouble, etc. 2. An uneasy feeling that something may happen contrary to one's desires. 3. A feeling of deep awe and dread. And for fun, let us define what is awe. Reverential fear, dread mingles with veneration, respect or deference, and now we will define deference which is yielding to the will or opinions of another or respectful regard. By keeping you locked in constant agitation or uneasiness about what could happen, you are robbed of the present moment of life which is the now of eternity. Generally speaking, one who is fearful of future possibilities probabilities occupies much time in worry about possible consequences of a decision or an action and will also often procrastinate, delay, making the final choice. Let us define worry. 1. To be uneasy in the mind, fret. 2. To pull or tear at something with the teeth. 3. To cause to feel uneasy in the mind, trouble. 4. To bother or pester 5. Worries, something that causes anxiety. So many of you have expressed or heard the phrase, I was worried sick. It is true that fear and its handmaiden worry can and will literally make you physically ill. Simply by imaging in your mind a picture, idea or horrid consequence, you actually manifest the realness of that which you fear upon yourself. Whether the actual physical manifested outcome occurs AC according to your worst fears, or not, you have suffered in your moments of fear and worry as though it had occurred. Do you see? You are creating the worst even if it be only in your mind through the emotional reaction of fear. Often the question is asked in earnest, well, if we are told, for example, that the probabilities are high that we could soon experience a devastating earthquake in San Francisco and or Los Angeles. Are we not feeding the negative probability by believing it and thus ensuring that it will occur? We will answer in twofold manner. First, you must recognize the facts of truth of your present circumstances that the planet, Mother Earth, is a being who has been poisoned by you, her guardians. She will need to cleanse herself, so this means massive earth changes will occur as a part of the process of bringing to the surface the poisons of nuclear detonations, pesticides etc. which have been festering within her. Also, you have the mighty powers of Russian cosmospheres which unnaturally control the weather patterns, and which are able to detonate bombs already in place along your fault lines. So you have the agenda of your beloved planet who wishes only to be cleansed. And the agenda of the Dark Brotherhood working through the elite few to control your planet and that means to ultimately destroy much of the population in order to manage their domination more easily. Is information about lies, deception, and cover-ups perpetrated against you by these ones of the elite, which is coming forth through the journals.
negative and therefore not worth your time to consider because you fear feeding the perhaps undesirable, to you, outcome of perceived negative probabilities. This material is information given in truth, be it perceived negative or positive in manifested reality. Unfortunately most information presented so far is a result of God's promise to expose the Satans or adversaries who have man-aged by force and allowance to hold you hostage in illusion of separation against your creator within you by deception of truth of your power of oneness. When it becomes negative upon self is when you are no longer ignorant of truth and you still do nothing to change your circumstances because you would instead rather hide behind your fear and self-perceived helplessness. Is it wrong to make plans for your future in your now? Not if it corresponds to the positive creative unfoldment of self-improvement and self-expansion of your knowledge and wisdom of truth in your now. You see, your desire to know and serve God will itself propel you ever forward in knowledge and wisdom of truth. And so too, your desire, will demand the discipline of self to remain focused on your goal. Let us define discipline, 1. Training of the mental, moral and physical powers by instruction, control and exercise. 2. The state or condition resulting from such training. 3. Punishment or corrective action for the sake of training. 4. A branch of knowledge. We would further add herein that there need not ever be punishment of self or another to achieve discipline. Simple integrity of focused attention in gaining wisdom of truth and recognizing and understanding consequences of thoughts and actions given in error are what are necessary to take corrective measures of action for successful training in godly truth to take place. This scribe has recently heard it said, in order to be a winner, given in reference to a karate competition, you must develop the three Ds. Desire. Devotion. And, discipline. Well, we will ask you each to apply the Bodhi full simplicity of this statement to yourselves in your goal to overcome the false illusions of the anti- Christ and become the winners of attaining your unlimited spiritual freedom by recognizing and reconnecting with the Father Mother Creator creation within you. Remember, we discussed earlier how the Antichrist rules you by your desires, meaning for things or attachments of physical illusion. If your only true desire is to know and serve God Aten, then where does that leave the Antichrist? Out the door of your space on his behind. Remember this too, precious ones, when you truly ask the Father the Mother God Aten within you for truth, you receive truth. This does not mean you will necessarily like or enjoy what you find, but as long as you remain devoted to the discipline of emotional detachment, such as from feeling paralyzing fear, you will become empowered by the wisdom of the God Goddess within you. Does this mean you will never feel fear again? Not necessarily, but you will by your desire, devotion and discipline learn to overcome your fear and take the necessary actions to bring about godly changes, whether it be within self or in situations or experiences put before you. Here is another aspect of understanding fear which you must also recognize. You ones also can experience fear or alarm as a warning mechanism of clear or unclear present danger to you. Fear became the manifestation of your desire for survival on the physical plane. It was created by you because of the limitation brought about by your veil of forgetfulness about your soul immortality. And it was thus encouraged by the deceivers or satans in order to terrorize, control and enslave you through your fear of death of the body. Actually, even those of you who know. No your soul is immortal will still feel fear if you or your family is threatened in some way. You must overcome the fear by acknowledging the warning and seeking protection, counsel and guidance with the Father within, so that you will be given instructions about how to best respond to the situation, whether it be defense of self and family or something other. Many ones simply fear physical pain and suffering more than death itself. So you must overcome the initial fear warning, and gain the counsel within to ACT in order to protect yourself or others.
It is only when you are overcome and paralyzed by your fear that you will not listen to your inner guidance and thus lose your power to change the outcome of the situation. So in summation, when we say you must conquer your fear, we are speaking of future fear worry orientation and that fear which paralyzes you into inaction or feelings of helplessness. Remember you are never helpless with God. You must learn to trust, you will always be given whatever you need in all circumstances put before you. When you sincerely ask the Father Mother within, it is done. HTTP colon slash slash www.fourwinds10.com slash journals slash pdf slash j027.pdf End quote. Here is another great quote that you can copy and hang on your wall in several places to help you conquer that fear within that robs you of your great spirituality. Quote, Journal 47. You see, precious chalice, as you sharpen and perfect your spiritual knowledge, your foundation becomes more solid than any man-made structure or material. Because your foundation is aligned with the wisdom of knowledge of truth of your immortal divinity, cosmic laws and oneness with God and the creation. Nothing of physical illusion will be able to tear down your foundation which is built on truth and spiritual wisdom. HTTP colon slash slash www.fourwinds10.com slash journals slash pdf slash j047.pdf Salu! Isu Emmanuel Jesus Sananda